We took the smugglers track from Spain into Andorra. There were some epic tracks, some mud. Then we came across this chap and he gave us one of these. Good morning, lovely people. Good morning, lovely people. Today we are varying a little bit from the Pyrenees ACT. We start out from here, La Sur de Gale, uh, and then we're very quickly back onto the ACT track, but probably only for about 15 kilometers up into the hills. And then we've set ourselves a bit of a challenge. If you think back a couple of episodes when we met some of the boys and we went on the Tet, Nick was telling us how he'd had it on his mind forever to go and find a Volkswagen T1 camper abandoned somewhere on a high plateau in the Pyrenees. Now we know it's not a top secret thing, we know other people have done it. But we'd never heard of it before Nick mentioned no. it. Uh, but then we kind of became intrigued and curious about it and now it's become something that we need to go yeah. and find. Bizarrely, it's gone from his bucket list to our bucket list, so thanks Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, all in all, we're not going to do very much mileage today. It has been chucking it down uh, for hours and hours and hours. The roads are still absolutely soaking wet. I think the tracks are going to be a quagmire. So, it, it could be quite a fun and challenging day out. Yeah, I think there's a lot of unknowns. It took them three hours to go, whatever it is, a few hundred metres. That's the team I'm talking about, sorry, the ACT team. So, we'll see how it is. That's an unknown that might take us... Uh, hours and hours and then trying to find the abandoned camper on the high plateau we think we know where it is we've got the google coordinates but that's a bit of unknown we don't know what the tracks are like to it yeah so today's theme is unknown unknown so we'll see you after breakfast bye bye okay so this is us leaving a hotel for night in Le Sou de Gale and according to Guru Maps only two kilometers until we're back on the ACT. This is us just climbing the little road, we're not on the trails yet, we're barely five minutes out of the town we stayed in. We're just already coming to the cloud line. Let's see. What see how bad it here. gets. <laughs> it didn't take us very long at all, and we were on the smugglers' route into Andorra, and there was a degree of trepidation because those of you who've watched the ACT official videos know that the team really had a tough time getting up this track. But we were hoping. That, that was just their weather conditions were worse than ours. But as we continued to climb, we actually got above the cloud layer and started to get really exciting. It was incredibly atmospheric. Uh, look at that, we're above the cloud now. That is awesome. I thought for a while we were just going to be trogging up some slick track in woolly grey nonsense, but we've got above it which is awesome it's really beautiful yeah it's we've gone from stunning. 800 meters at Le Sur de Gale and we're already at 1300 meters oh, we barely started yeah nice let's go it's beautiful isn't it it is stunning I was thinking when I was looking at the clouds as we're coming up the uh, start of the pass yeah and if they're so low I'm hoping we can get above that them. we could get above them and I think I think there's a few more around, but hopefully, yeah, we'll just keep going in and then climb out of them again.
As we continued to climb up into the mountains, the tracks started to get a little narrower and they started to get a little steeper. You could tell this was just going to be an awesome track. Just a steepness. <laughs> that of course won't come out in the cameras no. at all. But I can assure everybody watching, this is really f steep. And to save you having to listen to us whinging about how steep it is whilst looking at a very flat image on a screen, we'll jump to where it flattens out. I always feel cheated going down after a climb like that. It's like, oh, <laughs> that altitude was hard in. <laughs> and you know we're going to be going back up again. Yeah. Knew that down was a tease. Yeah, very much. I think poor Wonder the Hunter is going to be breathing heavy when she gets to the top of it. I've had a bit of a workout this morning. Yeah. Great trail, though. I mean, amazing. Yeah, I don't imagine we're going to meet too many other people on it. No, I don't think so. Actually, even through all that torrential rain last night, this track is not too No, bad. so far, it's kept its integrity. Oh my goodness. The track's giving us a little bit of a break, it's just contouring along the side of the mountain. And it's also offering up some pretty epic views. What a track. What are these? Grouse? Partridge? Partridge, I think. Babies. Oh. Come on, you lot. Get off the track. There we go. <laughs> Almost. Almost. One left. Hey. There we go. Oh, one. <laughs> The track quite rapidly changed its character and we discovered the reason for the warning on the uh, ACT website. It wasn't that it was highly technical or anything, it was just that it turned into a logging track with a bit of a gradient and some tight turns. So the big logging tracks had turned each corner into a bit of a swampy muddy quagmire. It's an absolute around the corner. Excuse my <laughs> French. That's okay. It's fine once you're over that bit. Okay. Yeah, it's just the huge vehicles, whatever yeah, it use is. it, they're absolutely churning it up. Exactly same with this one. Okay. Yeah, if you steer clear of where they've been and get on the stones, Yeah. it's not too slick. Oh yeah, I could see why that would have been absolutely horrendous for them. Yeah, it's so weird what weather does. As in, in the dry, in the This would be dry, the easiest like track going. The fastest going. track. Yeah. So, see this blue dot is where we are right now, this dark line is the border, and then we're going to go up these wiggles, go climb up a little bit higher and then cross over the border, but we're still on the track here. Um, it's about this point here that we come back to the road, so I'm thinking that's probably where there'll be a border control. So we're almost at the top of the smugglers track and we cannot recommend it highly enough with one caveat. When the ACT team did it, 
the weather was uh, so wet it was dreadful and I can definitely see how it would be a real struggle to get up there if the weather was terrible but if the weather's not too bad or if there's been a reasonable dry spell we can't recommend it highly enough what a beautiful fun track and what a great way to get into Andorra So what's happening now is we're going to finish off this track, we're going to cross the border when we manage to find a border post and then we're going in search of a bucket list item that we didn't know we had. Until, <laughs> it wasn't our here. bucket list item, it just <laughs> happens to be now. Yeah, it wasn't our bucket list, but we're doing it so Nick doesn't have to. You're welcome, Nick. <laughs> um, I don't know how far behind me. Are. I'm right next to you. Oh, you need to be further back and then you're in Spain. <laughs> oh yeah. And very very shortly. Soon soon soon. I'm in Andorra. <laughs> Hello, Hello foreigner. <laughs> you feel like a smuggler? I'm a smuggler. The smuggler on the smuggler's route into Andorra. <laughs> Welcome to Andorra. Thank you. <laughs> uh, smuggler's trail. <laughs> nice work. We just popped out of the trail. What we're doing now is we're leaving the ACT and we're going to go and try and find this thing up in the plateau up in there. <laughs> This Volkswagen thing. So you know which tracks to take? Well, the first is very uh, random. I have no okay. idea. But there's about 20 I could take. So. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, right. there's going to be a lot of trial and error. A huge amount. Yeah. I right, see. I'm just going to head in this general direction. And see where and we see come what out. what happens. We need to lay breadcrumbs. Yeah, we do. To find our way back. <laughs> this is the way that we've got to come back <laughs> as well. There were a lot of small tracks, but they all sort of funneled into one main track, and then we came across this chap. I'll be honest, we weren't totally sure what this was about, but if it got us into the mountains, it was all right by us. There seemed to be a lot of admin involved. After the admin was complete, we got a bit of paper, and Steph displayed some stunning sign language. Okay, happy? Yeah. Let's go find this camper. Well, he was helpful and lovely. Yeah, super helpful and lovely. So the first unknown of the day was complete. The Smuggler's Trail. And it was awesome. I think we were a bit lucky with the weather conditions. The next unknown was still to come. So we set off seeing if we could find this elusive abandoned vehicle somewhere on a high plateau. If you enjoyed the episode, it would be brilliant if you could give us a big thumbs up. And if you feel like coming along to try and find the abandoned vehicle on the high plateau, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.